Albert Einstein is to the modern era what Galileo was in the Renaissance. And that's why I put them very close together. Maybe Einstein just a notch above. He couldn't speak fluently until he was nine. He was a mediocre student who cut classes and dropped out of high school. But by the age of 26, Einstein published his remarkable theory of relativity. Separate, separate, fission. I'm always fascinated by Einstein. I'm fascinated by that man. That My favorite picture of Einstein is one where he's... He was a man of great simplicity, high informality. If he was the greatest scientist ever lived, I wouldn't dare to say, but he was certainly, if you want to name five, I would count him in, of all times. E stands for energy, M for mass, and C squared is the speed of light multiplied by itself. Now, C squared is a very great number, and so, if multiplied by even a small mass, the result will be a very great amount of energy. In 1905, Einstein published his three seminal papers on light, gravity, and the laws of motion. The centerpiece was the theory of relativity, which laid down a mind-bending new definition of space and time. When Einstein came up and said, you know something, when you travel faster, time slows down, mass increases. You could go away and come back, and you'll be younger than your twin sister. You say, that doesn't make sense. You know something? It doesn't make sense to anybody, and it doesn't have to. You have to put on a different hat that abandons your common sense. Commonsensical or not, the ramifications of Einstein's theories were stunning. They unlock the infinite potential of the atom for both creation and total destruction. Einstein, a longtime pacifist, was afraid of what his work might inspire and appalled by the rise of a new leader in his native land, Adolf Hitler. Einstein left Germany for the United States in 1933. The Nazis gathered a group of scientists who attacked his theory and labeled it Jew science. If I were wrong, Einstein reportedly said, one professor would have been enough. In 1939, in a letter to President Franklin Roosevelt, Einstein urged watchfulness and, if necessary, quick action to beat Germany to the atomic bomb. FDR secretly set up a team to develop atomic weapons, a team without Einstein. He was totally uninvolved in the development of the bomb. He did not even know what was happening. When he heard after Hiroshima what had happened, he said, Oi vey, which means, oh my God. And he was shocked. The nuclear age had begun, and Einstein was deeply concerned about where it would lead. It was a weird thing. He knew that in a, this was Pandora's molecule, the manifestation of what we've been living under the fear of for the last 50 years. We're still living with the fact of who has a nuclear bomb. In his later years, Einstein worked for international peace and the creation of a Jewish state. In fact, he was offered the presidency of Israel in 1952. He declined the honor, yet famed playwright George Bernard Shaw still gave him sovereignty over the entire universe. Ptolemy made a universe which lasted 1,400 years. Newton also made a universe which has lasted 300 years. Einstein has made a universe, and I can't tell you how long that will last. <laughs>